Hello, so in this video we're going to show you the OBD port location on a Mark II Megane and also we're going to then uh, plug in a, uh, a scanner and just give you some uh, example live data values which you might find helpful if you're, uh, if you're trying to diagnose a fault. So first of all the location is just here behind this flap like that but uh, if you're taking it off for the first time you'll find this probably in there quite stiff so it's a little bit it can be a little, little bit difficult to get out if you're taking it for the, off for the first time so then what you need to do in that case is to use something like this to kind of wedge up in, in there like so uh, to help sort of pull it towards you but obviously if you are using something especially something sharp like this be careful because you don't want that to flick out of there and kind of come back and hit you on the face or something like that especially if it's something sharp like that so uh, but th there is the uh, there is the uh, OBD port just there anyway. So uh, next we're going to get something uh, get a scanner plugged into there and show you some live data values. Okay, so on to the second part of the video. We've got uh, a uh, Wi-Fi um, uh, type uh, dongle plugged into the uh, OBD port there, and uh, we're looking at that data through an app called uh, Car Scanner on, on this uh, iPhone here. So uh, as you can see, um, it's uh, engine coolant temperature, 72 degrees is showing on there, which uh, in case you're curious, it corresponds to that on the gauge. Uh, you got your um, manifold absolute pressure, 101 kPa, that should dip down when we rev it a little bit. No, sorry, it goes up. Where does it go up? Um, not sure why that goes up. Because of turbo, I think it's going to be going up, isn't it? So your RPM as it's revved up there. Uh, intake air temperature, 29. It's actually not quite that hot, but it's quite normal for the intake air temperature to show sort of hotter than the ambient air temperature. Ambient air temperature is uh, is only about 15, as you can see, but uh, uh, the intake air temperature usually shows a bit hotter on most cars because of the uh, heat soak through the uh, through the engine. Uh, so you've got the uh, the mass mass airflow reading of about six grams per second. Uh, as we uh, that's uh, that's at idle as we uh, rev the engine up uh, let's rev it up to about 3,000 revs uh, that goes up as you can see to 40 grams a second uh, let it come back down uh, you've also got on there fuel fuel rail pressure about sort of 20 ish thousand kPa at idle and I think as you saw and it was revved up to about 3,000 revs uh, goes up to about uh, 40, just over 40, so about doubles. So uh, anyway, so uh, ho ho I hope that might be sort of useful to you if you're trying to sort of diagnose something and you're seeing values and you're not quite sure uh, what what they should or shouldn't be, that this might give you a good comparison that might be useful. Incidentally, this engine on this car is, is the 1.5 DCI. If you've got either the 1.9 DCI or obviously one of the petrol engines, uh, some of these uh, values, like for example the, the math values and stuff, will be different. But anyway, hope that helps uh, for that engine. 